welcome to another episode of Metal and Beer. So today I am actually trying a beer that I've never had before. So I'm trying this for the first time with you guys and this is called the Ebor Gold. So the Ebor Gold is an amber lager and before we try this, a little bit of history about this specific beer. So Ebor is actually a historic district called Ebor City in Tampa, Florida, which the area where I live in, which is a very, very cool place. You may have heard of it. And Ebor Gold was originally brewed, created and brewed by Ebor City Brewing Company. But and around 2005, I believe, it was acquired by the Florida Beer Company, which you can see on the cap there. So that's a little tidbit. And of course, you know, they wanted to continue the tradition of brewing this specific beer here, Ebor Gold, which again, I have never had before. So I am eager to try this. Now, that's a pretty smooth flavor there and I would say it's a little on the malty side. Uh, it's got a bit of body to it which I guess you know I kind of expect that from a, you know an amber lager because we're kind of combining some different flavors there. Um, I want to read to you though what's on the side of the bottle here. This is kind of their beer profile and I actually have some different opinions than what the profile says but that's just me. So the beer profile says the color is kind of middle of the road, which you can see that. I mean, it's, it's a nice golden color there. So it's kind of in between light, dark, I guess you could say. Now they're saying the taste is more on the hoppy side, but I'm kind of tasting more of a malty flavor there. And maybe that's just my own taste buds. I don't know, but that's fine. That's not a bad thing. You know, I do like some malty beers from time to time. It's not overly malty. You know, you can taste the hoppiness in there, but I, I wouldn't say it's more hoppy than malty. Again, that's just my opinion. Uh, now, for the body, they're saying the body's kind of middle of the road. I'm going to say this has a little bit more body than that. I'm going to say it's it's more towards, I don't want to say it's a heavy beer, but it is on the heavier side, if that makes sense. So, let's have another sip. That's pretty good. I kind of wish I had some more of these. I only got like a one. You know, I went to uh, to one of the beer stores, local beer stores here, and I loaded up a six pack of assorted beers because I like to do these reviews. <laughs> but now I'm kind of wishing, hey, maybe I should have got some more of these. Pretty good beer. Now it's uh, it's at a 4.6% ABV, so it's not strong by any means. That said, though, it's it is a nice, smooth flavor. It's got that body to it. And it's kind of one of those beers that's great for those times where you really don't want anything fancy. Like me personally, I'm an IPA drinker, but sometimes I want something that's not so hoppy. I just have that taste for something different. So it's that beer for those times when you don't want anything over the top. You just want a pretty simple, good tasting beer. And to me, that's what this is geared towards. So yeah, the Ebor Gold Amber Lager. Good stuff. Now let's talk about the metal part of this video. And since we're talking about Tampa, which again, it's now brewed by uh, Florida Beer Company, which they're actually based out of Cape Canaveral. So that's on the other coast there of Florida. But Ebor Gold is a Tampa centered beer. So I want to talk about Tampa and the death metal bands that came out of Tampa in like the mid 80s here. There's four prominent death metal bands that came out of this area, Tampa, Florida. So the first band is Obituary and all these bands I'm going to talk about just briefly here are they're still active to this day. So Obituary, they formed out of Tampa and I'm looking at the dates here. That was around 1984. So this is like, you know, way back. Another prominent band that formed out of here, which I just saw them in concert in 2019 last year, is Morbid Angel. They formed here in 1983. Now Deicide, that's another death metal band and they were really extreme death metal. They probably still are. Again, they're still active. And they formed in 1987, a little later. Now, the fourth band is that I'm going to mention is really not a death metal band. I guess they're more of like a speed metal, thrash metal, power metal type band. 
uh, but the vocals did have some of those, you know, really grinding vocal styles in some of their songs, and that's Iced Earth. And they formed in this area in 1985. Now, there's several other bands that I didn't mention, but I wanted to point out those four bands because I'm really, really familiar with all of those bands and really like their music a lot, too. So you can just look up death metal bands in Tampa and you'll see the long list of bands that we've had come out of this area, which is really, really cool. Uh, me personally, as a musician, a metal musician, I'm really hoping to bring that back to this area, you know, here in 2020 at the time of making this video. So, of course, I've got a link to my music as well in the description of this YouTube video. So definitely check that out. Uh, with that said, I also list the links to the beer that I'm trying, the links to the beer companies, the breweries and the bands i'll link to them as well in the description of this video i always like to give credit to these awesome breweries and awesome metal bands that i talk about on this show here so guys again the beer that we featured today was the ebor gold amber lager and again it's one of those beers to drink during those times you really don't want anything fancy you just want a solid beer so that's it, Ebor Gold. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel, ding that little bell, and I'll see you on the next Metal and Beer.